Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'll try to teach you how to do assembly meshing uh, with the workbench for a CFT problem which is going to be a conjugated uh, heat transfer uh, in, in transient mode. So, uh, so our geometry is basically a small rod which is placed in a cylinder and for conventional meshing you need to generate a fluid volume but with the assembly meshing, uh, you don't need to do that. But you need to cap your geometry. And to do that, you just select uh, at the edge and then you select the fill. So when you do that, a surface, you know, is created there. So you do the other end too uh, as an outlet fill. So we are done here and uh, if you haven't noticed this is a space claim uh, as as you know ANSYS has switched to a space claim for a couple of years and uh, you should be familiar with that so with that uh, i'm gonna go and, and save it and then uh, and then go to the measure and then uh, continue the, the the meshing there so exit the space claim. So I am in the in the meshing setup, and to do the meshing uh, assembly meshing, we need to do three steps. Uh, the first step is uh, uh, the first step is to create a coordinate system. The second step is to generate a or create a virtual body using that coordinate system and uh, the last step is to mesh. So let's just get it started and create a, a coordinate system. And the coordinate system should be within the fluid in the in the geometry. So so we've got that. And uh, to make it easier, uh, to make sure that uh, that's within the uh, fluid volume, so we create this. Uh, uh, we select this uh, surface um, and create apply. So it's going to generate a coordinate system uh, on the on the center of gravity of uh, of, of of that surface. But we don't want to be there. We want to be inside the uh, the fluid volume. So what we are going to do? We are going to change uh, the y direction uh, inside the uh, inside the fluid volume, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it uh, so to to change the coordinate system you need to select the global coordinates here and then here you can change the uh, y to 0 0.01 and as you can see it has moved it to uh, to to the inside of the cylinder uh, so 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 that's gonna be used uh, to uh, for a virtual body so so the second step would be to generate a, that virtual body but you don't see any option here and the reason is that the assembly meshing is not uh, selected so you go down here and on assembly meshing uh, you select the assembly meshing uh, basically you select a method which is cut cell in this case and as soon as you do that now you have an option to create a virtual body so you, you click right on geometry, you click on virtual body, and then uh, it asks you about the material point. And then we already created our coordinate system, and basically it's gonna create a, uh, create a, a virtual body using that coordinate system. And then uh, the second step uh, would be to create a, the next step would be to create an inlet and outlet, but I'm gonna skip that and let's just uh, generate a, 
mesh to see what it does. So it's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause it. So it couldn't mesh, and the reason is, I think, uh, the coordinate system that we created, it's almost in, in, the, uh, in the rod body. So it should be within the fluid body. So we'll go and uh, correct the coordinate system in Y. So let's go and... I think we went too deep, so let's just go to 0 0.005. So now it's we are sure it's uh, it's within the fluid body. So so let me just uh, uh, try to mesh again and and see what happens, and then uh, uh, we come back. Generate mesh. So our mesh is generated, and uh, to make sure that this is a correct mesh, uh, we create a section plane here. And uh, as you can see, uh, the solid body is not meshed. But if you want to mesh the solid body, which in this case, uh, we want to do it for the heat transfer, so what you do, uh, you go here and there is an option for uh, selecting the solid body. Uh, so here it says keep solid mesh. It says no, but we're going to say yes. And then we are going to mesh it again. So meshing has been done, and as you can see, all the solids and fluid have been meshed. And it's, a, it's not a very high quality mesh, so you can uh, play with the setting and sizing and to, to, make, it, uh, to make the mesh refiner and uh, make the mesh uh, better quality. So uh, with that, I'm going to finish uh, here. And if you're interested to know how to run a uh, heat transfer uh, analysis in transient mode, uh, you can see my next video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.